What is up guys, Maroxelix here and in this episode we're gonna go through all the mods I have done to my Yamaha R6. So most of you probably don't know but I've had this motorcycle since December. I bought it stock from a person in Stockholm and I made a pretty good deal with him when I bought this motorcycle. Most of you recognize that I used to have a Yamaha R6 which uh, R, R3 sorry which I sold a while ago. Um, so now I've been owning this motorcycle for many many months now and as you can see I've had I had opp opportunity to install a lot of mods to this motorcycle and it looks absolutely fantastic. I've had many people um, talk to me about how awesome it looks and I really really like the design of the R6. There are a few things that might be good and might not be so good about this motorcycle but I'll cover that in the end of this video. Okay, so the first mod of this motorcycle is a Krapovic full system, which you can see right here. I have a Krapovic full system with KN air filter installed and the issue has been issue flashed by a company in uh, England called P3 Tuning. Now, I actually have a problem with the ECU a little bit right now. Uh, one problem with this motorcycle right now is that the idling is a little unstable. The idling is not uh, very stable with the air and fuel ratio. So I'm actually going to send back my ECU to for a reflash uh, soon. So it will be much better. But the entire rev range is much better when I'm driving. I don't have any problem uh, when I'm driving overall. So that's, that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is my vinyl wrap. Most of you, if you know about the R6, you probably know that these, on the 2017, if you look Google, if you look on Google, but like Yamaha R6 2017, and you look up the black version of this one, you will see that these lines are actually white. Here's another one. These two are supposed to be white, actually. And you also have a vinyl wrap here, right there. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But these used to be uh, white, but I went to a company and changed these to match with the suspension color, the front suspension color. It looks fantastic and it gives a character to this motorcycle, which is very unique. And not many R6s have this. And I thought that black would fit really good with something along this color with gold. It's not actually gold, it's more like yellow, uh, but it's when there's a light shining towards the vinyl wrap, it looks like it's sort of gold. It's pretty cool, actually. Now, the first thing that I have is a Walter Moto uh, details. I have a lot of gold details from Walter Moto, which is a amazing Italian company, which makes awesome, details for uh, motorcycles like they make brake fluid caps um, they make oil caps they make everything rear sets unfortunately the rear sets are too expensive for me to buy I don't want to invest in rear, rear sets I'm actually happy with the ones I have right now so what have I done well I have uh, brake fluid caps from Walter Motor right here on the front and on the rear and I also have a little cover, this is R6 on both of them. So it looks pretty cool. Um, the swing arm, I actually have two right here. Some people complain that I why I have two, but you know, I have them just because I have spot to having two. So I'm like, yeah, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, so I have two from Walter Moto. The foot pegs are in gold. They are also from Walter Moto. They're amazing they're a little sharp actually like the edges they're really sharp but that's not a big deal <laughs> sometimes if i'm if i'm not wearing a motorcycle uh like uh, shoes then it can hurt a little bit but that's fine overall you know i just ha want to have it for good stabilization on my well, uh, my foot when i'm sitting on a motorcycle and driving um what else i have oil oil cap right here this is actually not from walter moto but it looks good I actually got this yesterday so I lost my other one which I will explain in another video uh, I have 
screws all around the motorcycle. You have one here, uh, you have one here. This is also from World Moto. Uh, what else? Where else? You have a few screws here, right here, there, and here as well. So I have a bunch of screws everywhere from Voltamoto, which is actually amazing. Uh, they're not actually the most quality made screws because I know that some of them actually crack and you know they don't they don't last for a long time. That's actually annoying, you know. So uh, <laughs> it's actually a little uh, difficult to have that, but. I try to buy them uh, and use them on the, on the spots I will not change. Like those spots where I know I will not open the motorcycle so much, you know. Uh, <clears throat> and I also have all the moto uh, screws uh, for the windscreen. Now uh, my windscreen is actually a little, it has a few major damage on the side, but that's not a big deal. I'm actually gonna change this to a black one and then change uh, what I put on and especially this R6 logo it looks amazing And as you can probably see as well, I have a lot of bunch of custom stickers everywhere um, It's you can see one here Yamaha and I also have aliens here. It's not actually aliens, but they're using if I remember right They're using oil from aliens to the front suspension. That's why I put all the aliens here I actually don't have aliens on the front or rear, but that's not a big deal because these front, this suspension on the front and rear from the factory are actually really, really good. And I also have here a few stickers you can see. Dangerous motorcycle for professional riders only. This is actually true because this motorcycle is one of the most dangerous motorcycles uh, in the market actually. And one of the super sport uh, motorcycles in the market. And I also have a funny sticker right here. My brethrens from this Yamaha motorcycle have been known to cause orgasm, which is pretty funny. I have my name here. I have my name on uh, a bunch of places here. I have one here. I have one on the other side too. Here's a Yamaha logo. Here's my Instagram where I put pictures of my bike. My bike. Uh, here's another one. So I have a bunch of custom stickers everywhere. Akarapovich limited edition, especially. This is actually true because I really, really made it limited edition here's a yamaha racing uh, sticker and here's a bunch of stickers i just put on the passenger seat because you know <laughs> i just thought it would be funny to put them somewhere it's like stickers i had uh left on my desk so i was like yeah let's put them somewhere i have a few stickers here as well on the tank uh it looks pretty cool it just matches the bike overall with all the details i have new brake pads uh, from Brembo on the rear and on the front which are amazing they're really really good uh, I also changed the brake fluid a while ago and they're perfect still they'll last a uh, whole next year as well um, I when I bought this motorcycle I got a short tail tidy included which is amazing I was actually thinking about getting another fender which has which has a license plate right here so it looks more sharp it looks more sharp like this but then I thought about it and I honestly don't want to invest the money to you know put it there because it might be illegal and this one looks just as perfect so I skipped that I have a tail light cover instead of buying a whole new tail light which most people have I bought a tail light cover like you can see here so you can see the line I can actually show you let's put start a motorbike you see you have a line right here and when you're pressing on the brake it will just be a little more brighter and this looks pretty cool They're, especially during the night like if i close the lamp you'll see it. it looks pretty cool it looks very aggressive like it's some sort of terminator or something okay and what else uh, yeah the gold screws everywhere i also have a pair of new levers these i bought them from france actually uh I, I bought them because they match so good. You have the black black uh, lever here, and then you have the pin lock in uh, gold, which just matches the bike pretty good, especially, especially with this setup. And I also have a tank pad, which I also got when I bought the motorcycle, this one. And on the side, it's really, really good. This is also good called Easy Grip. These are really good. 
uh, quality grips. They make it so much better when I'm holding my knees to this. Awesome. And I have a few carbon fiber details. I have one here, right here. Looks pretty good. I also have here, this one. That I like to uh, make sure my foot doesn't move everywhere. I also have another side right here. And that's actually the only carbon fiber details I have because I wanted to get more carbon fiber details, but at the same time, I didn't want to ruin the whole design by having other details uh, because I think it looks great as it is right now. And, <clears throat> and I also have a pair of new Michelin Power 5 tires. These tires are amazing. I've been driving around with these tires and also on the rear. They are just astonishing. They're really great. I can recommend them highly. If you have, they're not cheap. I I bought them. I bought the front and rear for almost 350 euros. So it will cost a little bit, but they're amazing. They last for very long. And I'm sure you will have a lot of grip with these for sure. You also have a thicker side here and here and you have a lot of you have like a, a lot of uh, you know you can use a lot of the tire for a long time don't worry about it uh, you know being finishing so you need to you don't need to change the tires very often because these tires are gonna last you long and finally I have a at home um, I need I don't really need to change the sprockets uh, the chain I'm going to change um, actually next year I have a pair of uh, I have a I have rear sprocket and I have front sprocket and I also have a new chain which I'm going to install next year because I'm going on a European trip next year so I would like to have a new chain and everything uh, even though this chain could probably last another I don't know four or five thousand miles I don't know and <clears throat> And finally, uh, what are the problems I have right now? Well, one of the problems, like I told you in the beginning of the video, is the idling of the Akarpovich uh, with the ECU. I need to get the ECU reflashed ASAP. It's not a problem, but it could be a little annoying to try to get away in the beginning because it requires so much power and sometimes the engine doesn't uh, really respond that fast. Especially when you have the ride by wire. This is the ride by wire uh, electronic gas response because you have a throttle body uh, which responds to how much gas you put it. So, it, yeah, it's a little slow with that. Not, not a lot, but a little bit. And what another problem? And yeah, I have another problem on the side, but it's not very important. Overall, this is just an amazing bike. I've had R6, like I said, for a few months now. I've been driving it uh, everywhere. I've been driving it to school. I've been driving it to work. I've been driving it just casually with friends and it's just amazing. One of the downsides, I think this is something I actually expected when I bought the motorcycle is that the comfort, like you can see, if you look at on the side, you'll see when you sit on the motorcycle, you'll have a lot, you're leaning a lot forward and imagine yourself leaning on the motorcycle and sitting like that, sitting on that position for, I don't know, one hour and when you're driving somewhere it can get very uncomfortable, your back will hurt, and your ass will hurt. So it's really, it can be very annoying with that. I do recommend, I'm actually going to do another video very soon, where I'm going to give tips and tricks for how to manage long rides on a sport bike. I'm actually going to do uh, my European trip with the R6, with using my own tricks and tips. So like buying a tank bag and stuff like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video on that. But right now I just want to show you what I've done so far, and I'm absolutely like happy with the result. Uh, I also have a, yeah I also have a few stickers here, nothing special. And it's just an amazing bike. This one should have uh, around 120 horsepower or something like that. Maybe a little more. The problem is that it's not dyno tested, so I can't really tell, but I do get that feel when I... It's much, much better with the ECU flash, uh, but uh, idling is not 100% correct, but they will change that for free, of course. Everything else, the brakes, 
on the front are just amazing. They're so much, so much better with the new brake pads from Brembo. And the rear is just awesome as well. And you have so good grip. Like I also changed these to driven, the grips. So much better feel, really, really a lot of feel. Like I can't explain how better these are. It just makes it amazing. And overall, I haven't done much. I've been driving it now. Let's see how many, how long I've been driving it. I bought the motorcycle when, when it had approximately, uh, how much is that? 8,000 kilometers. And now I have almost 1,200 kilometers on the odometer. So um, definitely a huge difference. I've been driving it for three or 4,000 kilometers this year. It isn't much. It's most because I didn't have, I didn't spend much time outside. I had a lot to do work and stuff this summer. So, uh, oh yeah, and also have bar ends from Walter Moto right here. So yeah, I didn't get the time for that, but I will definitely have more time next year. I'll make it more comfortable for myself when I'm driving. Uh, and also I have engine protection from Puig. These are great in case something happens, if I crash the motorbike or if I drop it, I don't need to worry about changing the engine cover because just the engine cover is really expensive. <clears throat> so that's that's the that's the list of mods I've done on this motorcycle and what I think about it. It's an amazing bike, it's really fast, really really fast. Um, the insurance is expensive but depending on how old you are it's very different how you can manage that. Would I recommend the R6? Yes, it's a really really track focused bike. It's a super sport bike. It's aggressive, it's fast, it's supposed to go all the way up. It has so much potential on the track. If you're riding it on the street, maybe not as much, but it's still great. I don't, I am not complaining that much. Just complaining about my back getting, it hurts sometimes when I'm driving for long distances, but everything else is just brilliant. The engine is fantastic. It's been known for being a really amazing and very reliable engine. The LED lamps are just awesome. You can see how aggressive it looks. The LED running lights are amazing. And these are for the uh, have, these are for the LED lights. Um, when you're driving, they're just awesome. And then you have the LED, you have uh, LED turn signals right here on the side. So would I recommend this bike? Yes. But do have in mind, it's supposed to be a track focused bike. People buy this motorcycle for the track. They don't buy it for the street. I actually did the opposite because I really like the design of this bike. And, you know, for people to see this, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Like they don't usually see an R6 on the street. People buy R R1s. And I think, I think it's not just as enough that people, you know, uh, only buy R1s but people don't buy R6. I've actually had people complain about me having the R R6 because they're like, why don't you buy an R1? You know, but to be honest, the R6 has enough power for the street and for the track. You don't need more, I can guarantee you that. And it's a shame, you know, they don't sell a lot of R6s, especially the newer one. So I would definitely give it a try if I were you. If you really want to buy this motorcycle, I will really do that. And that's the video. And that's a video of all the mods, what I think about the motorcycle. On my next video, I'm going to uh, upload a video of tips and tricks for long rides on the R6. And what I believe would be good to have if you're doing a long ride. And that's also something I will try myself when I go on the long ride through Europe with my friend. That's when I will actually try my own tips and apply them to that trip. And then I can actually give you a more ex brief explanation of what I think about using each, each tip. So thank you for watching and see you on the next video.